So this is our purpose, to carry out the ministry of Christ by doing what he did, making disciples, loving people, speaking grace and truth, helping people be reconciled to the God who loves them. He could have done it any other way, but he chose to use us. I think about that a lot with my own ministry. I have no idea why he would choose me to do anything like this when he could have chosen someone else. But he didn't leave us alone to accomplish this task. He gave us the Holy Spirit, the actual Holy Spirit of God to guide us, to illuminate his word, to help us live out the purpose we were created for. He lives within us. He equips and empowers us for the purpose of carrying on the ministry of Jesus. And remember, we're not supposed to do this by ourselves. Each one of us is doing our own thing. Let's just go back to that verse in 2 Corinthians 5. We are Christ's ambassadors, as though God was making his appeal through us. That we and us is the church, is the family of God. It's not all up to me, it's not all up to you, it's you and me together empowered by God to go into all the world and make disciples. So when we're called to give a reason for the hope in us, we're not supposed to share an agenda. We're supposed to share a story, his story.